Now, if you've seen my previous videos about Sculptris Pro resolution, then these buttons should make more sense. So I have incorporated the Sculptris buttons into my UI. So I have my clay build up, my draw, my Z intensity is 20 and I am in Sculptris mode. Uh, adaptive is off, so if I draw right now, nothing much happens except, of course, the sculpting of the brush, because my subdivide si size is fairly high. If I lower it, still too high to have some effect. Now I have this. Remember, if I press the Shift key and I have fairly low in Z intensity. Then I'm going to smooth out a bit because, but because my size hasn't changed, I should up it a bit. So 0.7, and then I decimate. That's something that I shown in the previous video. But now the buttons like adaptive size and combined are going to make more sense. So adaptive size means that when I turn that on, then my brush size is actually important. So now with adaptive size on. That's the resolution I get with the subdivide size of 0 0.16. If I turn adaptive off, then that is the resolution I get. And this also makes a difference for decimating with a smooth brush. So if I have adaptive size off and sculpt and then press shift and smooth and then to have a bit of difference I have to up it a bit, so 0.3 maybe, okay. But if I now go over this, then I'm going to lose most of what I had. So I'm going to control Z to undo. So if you have sculpted something with this high resolution, that was with adaptive size on, then the smoothing is also best done with adaptive size on. So if I now smooth over this with a fairly low smooth Z intensity. Now this resolution is being lowered and I can up it a bit 0.4 now but with adaptive size on again up it a bit 1 with adaptive size on just like that because if I've sculpted something with adaptive size on and I have fairly dense geometry, then without adaptive size on, if I then smooth, then I'm going to lose just about everything. Even if I set my subdivide size all the way to 0 0.05, without adaptive size on, if I smooth, I'm still going to lose too much resolution unless that is what you want, but with adaptive size on and then smoothing. Now up this a bit, it takes a bit of trial and error, so that's a bit much, control Z, just like that. And now for the combined button, so if you Activate combined, when you control, hover over it and press the control key, you will see that when the combined button, button is activated, the brush will add tessellation and decimate with each brush stroke. So what does that mean? Well, according to the subdivide size, if my geometry has very dense resolution, then with combined on, I will decimate it according to the subdivide setting, of course, and vice versa, when it has very low resolution, it will add resolution. So with the clay build up brush now, with the Z intensity of about 20, with adaptive size on and combined on, and with a subdivide size of 0 0.87, if I brush over this, I will sculpt with the clay and add tessellation, but if I go over that very dense area, I will also sculpt, but decimate. And now, this kind of has uniform resolution, that part that I've just sculpted. So, adaptive size makes sure that the resolution is 
adapted according to the brush size combined will tessellate polygons that are bigger and will decimate polygons that are smaller. So if I go over this, you see that this high resolution according to my subdivides size setting now is lowered. And then last but not least we have the undivide ratio. So I, in previous video I have set it to 1, but if you hover over it, press the control key, the undivide ratio slider controls the amount of decimation that will be applied with each brush stroke. So undivide ratio controls the decimation and a higher setting will add larger triangles. So if I press the shift key to go into smooth and with adaptive size on, combined on and with Z intensity of 3, I have a very low smoothing but according to my subdivide size a fairly high decimation over here and that decimation will be even higher if I up my undivide ratio so if I set this to 3 all the way up then over here my polygons will be much bigger again sculpt smooth but with undivided ratio 3. So the undivided ratio is especially important for decimation and I prefer it to have it at 1 because that's more predictable because if that's what the resolution that I'm sculpting then when I press shift now I'm not getting any decimation because I haven't changed my subdivide size or I could set this at the default 1.25 if you will and now if I press the shift key it will also decimate a bit so sculpt decimate a bit if I make this higher for instance 2 that's maybe too much already but it's of course what you're after